everyone welcome back to our channel that is ai next generation so today topic will be related to the we will just analyze the olympic and uh, 2021 data set that was held on tokyo okay so that particular data set where we will see which country has won the maximum gold or silver or bronze medal which particular country has the most participate in that particular olympic which has the highest number of the coach in that particular olympic and which country has high uh, won the most number of total medals okay so this type of data analysis we will see today in this particular video so before starting this video you must subscribe our channel okay so now we have to just uh, there are the data set that particular data set there will be four type of different type of data set will be there i will just give you the link in the description uh, that uh, already have just uploaded in the google drive so you can just directly download from there okay so our main task for the today to, today video will be olympic analysis uh, which was held on the tokyo 2021 okay so we can just write here the things yeah olympic so the this video will be really really helpful if you are just uh, pursuing for the uh, if you are just applying for the data scientist role or if you want to really good in the eda even if you want to give the minor project in your final final year or if you are a fresher you want to build your career as a data analytic part so you should understand you should must go this particular video okay So yeah, E N L I C two thousand twenty one. Okay, so this will be our topic: Olympic analysis of two thousand twenty one data set, which was held on the Tokyo. Okay, so first of all, what everyone we first of all we will import the library we are going to use in this particular whole series. Okay, import numpy as np basically is is used for the all the mathematic calculation and linear algebra uh, whenever you want to uh, fit any data but whenever you want to find the particular uh, sum of that particular how many total all the mathematic part which will related to the uh, particular you want to do in this data set you have to just do with the help of numpy because numpy is a numerical python so even uh, i will just give you in the description you can look out about more about the numpy which already have written in the website okay so the first will be the, uh, we will import the numpy and then after the we will import the pandas pandas is basically whenever you want to read a particular any data any file whether it file will be a csv file or whether it is file will be a um, uh, excel file uh, a json file any file okay and where you will play with the data so at that time you will use pandas okay and the third particular we will use we uh, we will use for the data visualizing okay so for data visualizing what you will use in uh, particular matplotlib library okay matplotlib you can just to enter okay so these three will be the basic library where you will go going to use in this particular whole video okay so if we will need any uh, third particular or type of a library we will just import here okay the first thing you have just imported your data uh, sorry libraries the second thing is you have to load the data set okay so for loading the data set already i have just uh, particular uploaded in the google drive so i no need to <coughs> uh i will just give you the link of that particular the, uh, this data set okay so you can just go through yeah so tokyo olympic data set so it is basically a five excel file it is there is athletics uh, there is coaches and there is a gender medals and team these are the five total number of excel file we will going to see okay so we so that we can just perform some eda and we will uh, do some question in which particular already i have just discussed which particular country has high uh, won the highest number of medals or which particular country has highest number of coaches or which particular at particular game uh, entire world which how many participate has been taken in the olympic and which country has the highest number of participate okay so we are just going to see this type of things so first of all what you will just write the first we will you upload the particular <coughs> athletic data okay so here what you will just write pd dot read excel because it is a excel file so you have to write excel if it is a csv file just write the csv file okay just 
copy the path of this you can you can copy and paste okay so this is basically our uh, this is by part of the go uh, that i have mount with the google drive okay now the second you will just upload with the same uh, coaches coach data similar you will just read you can just copy paste i think pd dot read csv uh, no need to do even you can just write read excel and just write copy paste the file path this is your path and you can just paste there okay the similar thing you can just do for the coach data you have also gender okay gender data gender data pd dot read excel similar way and then after you have to give the path okay just keep the path here okay this also is completed the fourth data we are just going with that is the middle data okay middle data then after just read pd dot read excel and then after just copy this path also yeah and the last one is basically which data this is teams data okay team data then after just read from excel similar copy paste this path same now just run this one okay so hope so you will not get an error yeah no error so we have just imported all the libraries first of all then after we have loaded the data set okay data set we already have loaded now the third thing what we have to do now we have to just see uh, you can just see it lit uh, particular if head you want to see okay so you can just see for the whole so it's basically it's a name and that after which particular countries will belongs and particular discipline here in the olympics we are just calling as a which particular game he is going to play okay or which particular game he is going to perform whether it is a basketball or whether it is a gymnastic uh, different type of games okay in the olympic they are called as a disciplines then after similar you can just go for the head of coach data data you can just see here also you will get the coach's name and which particular coach belong to and which particular discipline it is okay so this was for the coach i think the third is gender middle and team gender gender data dot head you can just write even you can just see for the gender also okay so this particular basketball female 32 male wow it was equal even so assuming in can you can just see all you have female and no male was there okay so even athletics you can just see more number of male as compared to the female but it was minor okay so these are the gender i think one more left of uh, medal and team okay medal dot held i think medal data was there sorry medal data dot head sorry for that yeah so yeah you can just see middle how which country has uh, you can just see the rank one of the united states of america usa okay so gold silver and bronze total number of 113 medal it was found by the particular america even you can just see about the china 88 and the third one was the japan okay and now the rest now the last one is basically i think it's the team or yeah team data team data dot head just i'm just giving you the overview of different different how this particular data what is basically belongs to okay so now even you can just see this particular name of team and that is discipline then noc and then event okay <coughs> So these are the five data set already I've just shown you and how they are just looking. Now, if you want to know the information of that particular data set, okay. So if you want to know whether your data set, how many information it is there. So you can just go for, okay. Utility, yeah. so you can just write info. You will get the information of that particular utility data set. 
so i think you don't have uh, any null value if you even you can just check the null values of athletic data set okay uh, is null you are just uh, simple you are just write is null and then call this particular and dot sum you will see the uh, whether how many null value it is there okay so i think you are not getting any null values in the athletic data set okay and then the third type of uh, and then you can just try for the everyone even for the gender you want to see gender data is null uh then uh, sorry for that is null and then after you are just going dot sum okay you can even see wow how i have given this one okay now you are seeing even there is no null value i think you don't have any null value even you can just check for the particular uh, middle data so they are just basically pre processing part before analyzing you should must know how many null values you have in that particular data set okay so it is really most important step even if you are uh building this model for the machine learning model or for the deep learning model in that case also you have to do the data pre processing phase okay data pre processing step is the most crucial step and even like 60% of time you will invest in pre processing step okay so i you for you don't have any null values also I, i think there is a null value in the coach data set even you have don't have to remove this coach data set yeah. is null then after you will just write dot sum yeah you have in the event so you no need to remove the event i i know that particular name of the coach and which particular country is belongs to and which particular uh, discipline means which particular game is uh, going for the coach okay so this is the basically you don't have to remove okay so otherwise the data set will be data set will be like a uh, number of rows will be deduct uh, you can just say because you can't even use directly uh, a model so because it will give you the wrong result wrong prediction okay. so yeah this was the all about the data set and how the data set it is looking okay then after after we will just perform <coughs> the first question we are even you have just look about the data set then after we will go for the question by question okay so even you have just seen or uh, you have loaded the data set then after you have just rem- uh, you know that how many null value it is there in the data set you know the information of that particular data set okay with the help of information also you are going to see okay then after that what you will just going to use the first question if i will just say if i am just going to write okay the first question if i am just going to write that will be related to <coughs> uh that will be related to basically i can just write here then after i will say okay so i will just which country do most athletic comes from okay so the first question will be this so which country do most athletes come from okay Countries do most athletes come from. Okay. So why I am just going for this first question because you know that this uh, whenever you come with the Olympic games, so every time you will see four hundred meter race, hundred meter race, seven, eight uh, hundred meter race, sixteen hundred meter race. So the for Olympic it is I think it is you can just say it is most famous because of this athletes. Okay. this will be your first question so how you will deal with this particular so if for this athletes you, you will only go for that particular athletes data set okay so already athletes data set you already has been loaded okay oops i think it's by athletes then after you can even i will just go here same thing head okay so so now you are just seeing uh which particular country uh which country do the most athletes come from okay so this is the first question we are going to see even you can just put the question mark so it will look nice okay so now if with the help of this data set you are able to find okay so because we uh, noc represent that particular which country uh, will belongs to okay so now if i will just write even if you are going to use the values count so you can just use the values count for that also but even you want to see that thing in the graph okay something you want to visualize okay for that you can just use directly 
okay so the first thing what we are going to use we uh, whenever you are just building any plotting in with the help of matplotlib you have to give x and y value even if i am just writing athlete data dot a if that particular column i am just selecting noc and then after dot values count okay let's see what it comes So you are already seeing that I'm Rika six hundred fifteen. Uh, sorry, six six feet. Uh, six hundred fifteen. Yeah, and Japan it was second. Australia and then after China, German. Okay, so wow, I'm not seeing even in the India. <laughs> so this was the athlete data set, or uh, where you are just seeing which particular country has the highest number of athlete. Okay, so you are just val values with the help of values count you are able to see. Okay. But even you want to see something in the plotting survey because whenever you want to see something visualizing purpose because uh, whenever you are giving whenever you are showing this project to any non technical guy they will not see how many numbers they only want to visualize okay on the basic of graph okay the first what you will just write here you just make the y and then after you can just write athlete data a dot particular we have noc okay you can just write noc and then after from that just do values count okay. It's like same way we are just putting everything in this particular Y for NOC. Okay, so even if I want to see, uh, okay, just we will see this one in later one, and then after similar way for the uh, uh, axis. So what you have to write, same way. But in X, what you will write, you will write the index, because Y you will write the value in the X axis. You will write the index of that particular. Okay. So what you are going to use here? noc dot noc dot value count c o u n t s even i can just put this one only i want only the values that's it for why i want only the values that's it you can just write this one okay values and then after that you can just pass how many values you want uh like uh it's it, whenever you are just doing the values count now the first 30 country or first 20 country I'm going only for the first 20 country. That's it. Okay. Means first 20 country, which has highest number of athlete. Okay. That's it. And then after similar here, you can just write the same thing. You will just write the index in this index. You will just write the same as number of what you have just giving the value, the same number index you have to pass. Okay. Otherwise it will give you the error. Then after what you are just doing, you are just plotting with the help of matplotlib. You already have imported import matplotlib.pyplot.splt. Then after you will have to give the figure size. Okay, the figure size will represent uh, how many you want to. Say. I think we can just keep twenty comma six. Yeah, that's it. And then after what you will just write, you have to just now you are just plotting the bar plot. Okay, so be, because you want to see something which looks like in the bra, bar. Okay, so here you will pass just directly x comma y. That's it. You already have x. You already have y. Then after you have to just give the x label. Okay. So X level where what you will just write the country and then in the Y level what you will write <sighs> number of athlete so a Y level you will write number number of athlete. this is what you are going to write then after even you can just write the x tick it's uh, yeah obvious because whenever you will seeing the total number of uh, 100 okay i will just show you why it's necessary to use x tick because you, you can't write uh, they everything that will label in the x axis will be on the horizontal way but you want to go the label in the vertical way so it will not mismatch the first level with the second level okay that's it then here what you're just writing x tricks and here even i will just show you now don't worry rotation and here what you want to rotation it will be vertical and the second option what you're going to is size you want to say okay how much size of that particular everyone i think i can give 12 okay and similar for the white ticks also white ticks is basically the, all the values you are going to use okay the, just give the size as a 16 that's it and then after just write plt also see wow you are seeing this is your 
so now you are able to see this i am just talking about the extinct this one okay so if you are not writing vertical so united states of america and japan they will be all will be, all will be in the horizontal okay so you will not able to see which particular countries belongs to okay the label so here you are able to see okay so now united states of america has the highest number of athletes as compared to japan australia china where is india even i am just searching india also here okay so you can just mention i think we can see top 30 wow it is some, somewhere here in india okay wow so, hope so we will uh, do be better in the next time so this was uh, related to the first question we have just seen which country do most athletes come from so you can even go for the values count you can just see even for the plotting purpose you can just do directly okay this one okay so this was the basically the first question and you are able to see which particular country and even only for the first game i have just shown about you can just do whatever game you like even uh, if you want to see whether they how many basketball which country has the maximum number of basketball or anything you can just do okay because you can just even do whatever you want because it is basically as many as you can just do the pre processing step or visualizing step the standard step already i am just showing okay so this was the first question now the, we will move to the second question okay so that second question will be related to the basically now we will see uh, which discipline is the most popular and which country has the highest participate in it okay so already i will just try this question first of all which d popular and which country we are going to see two question in the one question then it has the highest participates in it okay is now what you are just saying wow not just run okay so which discipline is the most popular means which particular game is the most popular in the olympics and which country has the highest number of participants in that okay so the first wall again you will just plot the same thing the bar plot you can just do okay the same you don't have to go for the fancy or any other way okay so this is the really basics we are just uh, we i'm just showing you the the easiest way okay so you are able to visualize the something so yeah so the even now that the second question then what you will just write even i'm just going for the discipline which uh, most popular and which country has the then you can just write athlete already we have to show this one start held now you will able to see this one time why it is taking too much time oh, i have just mentioned something wrong oh, oh. sorry for that <laughs> okay so now we are just going i think my connection issue why locating wow so we will see what happen first spot i have to connect into i think it's not working okay no worries i'm just changing on the wifi uh, i'm just switching on the hotspot so i think hope so it will now connect so because basically i am just using the google chrome app so every time whenever there is a something wifi problem so it directly turn off it's not working okay so yeah so this was the uh, related to the this even i think if it is working yeah because i have to run everything now no worries is first of all i have to run i think everyone is facing this issue every time they have to run whenever they uh, that's the demerit of the google club i can say but even for the teaching purpose i have to go for the google lab but whenever i'm just working on the company that's because whenever i have to do something related to the machine learning or the deep learning 
at that case what we have to just uh, use the anaconda jupiter even they are just giving us uh, go basically aws and different different kind of stuff so why i'm just running too much slowly now it's fine so you are just sorry for that okay so uh, athlete data you are already seen now from here what you want to see which particular which discipline is the most popular so you are able to so here you can just do the values count okay? so don't worry you can even do the values count you can just write well uh, sorry for selecting this particular discipline and just write values count okay you are able to see okay so wow i don't want to see this much man <laughs> okay so already i have said you athletic athletes is the most popular game in the whole uh which popular discipline in the whole olympic okay then after wow there is a swimming football rowing basketball judo handball okay where is jarvik so even you can just see there So the first of all, now we can only I want to see the top ten. Okay. Now the second, uh, we 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 want to plot this thing in the graph. Okay. So we want to see something. We want to visualize this one. So for that, what you will just write the same way. Okay. Just write the first athlete. We already data from that. You want only the discipline. Okay. D I S. Why it is not loading? Wow. Tab it. Tab. I'm sorry for that. I'm used to use the tab. The tab is only working on the Anaconda Jupiter, not in the Google Colab. Okay. So tab basically for auto fill. Okay. So now here, what you want to do the values on the what we have done for that particular uh, NOC here, you will do for similar for the discipline. Okay. Because you want to see which particular country the athletic comes from, which uh, the most which which game is the most popular game in the Olympic. That's what you want to see the first thing. Okay. So here, what you are going to use values count. And then after just write the all the values. That's it. I think it's, we can just go for the values. Okay. Then similar you have to just write for the x also. Here you are just writing. And then after this plain. Then after just writing your values count. Similar everything and just write the index dot index. Okay you have done the x and y similar you have to just plot uh, you have to just plot the figure plt dot figure what you have done see you are just doing the same thing what you have done there you are just plotting the figure everything you can even copy and paste that's it no need to write each and everything again and again you can do okay okay you already know uh, already you have just seen this one plt dot bar plot you will give x and y but you here you have to change something okay that thing i will just explain you but for now just uh, just remove plt dot in that particular what you will have in next level you will have discipline okay and in the y particular number of athletes okay oh, sorry sorry i don't have to remove this one okay even uh, you can just write rotate uh, size this one yeah this all thing works really good now you have to change the measure here we have just written x comma y but uh, even you have to mention the text because even you can just you just run this one then after we can just choose if you want to modify something okay okay now you are able to see this one really it's looking really cool okay even you can just mention the text you want to see here the text how many exact text okay for here you are just seeing this much how but even you can just see the exact number of text you can just use it's really simple you can just write plt dot text okay but you have to uh you have to iterate through all this particular number of uh index or no, total number of uh, uh total number of index you have to just uh loop through okay so for every index how many uh value it is there okay just you have to do this one you can just do it easily for you can just write index comma where to in enumerate you know i think this one is really it will give you the additional it will give you the index okay this is what it is giving you 
then have here you are you have to pass the y value because you want to look through all the y then here you just write plt dot text text sorry text i'm speaking so here what you have to pass uh, uh, the first one will be the index you want to put for the every index and what the value will be there because for the every the first uh y basically what it holds it holds the uh, enumerate it will give you the index okay the additional it will it is giving the index and you are just looping through all the values that contains in the discipline okay like all the values of this particular athletic or swimming or football okay every value and you are just writing plt dot text okay text okay the same now you are you want to just see whether it is giving you a correct answer or not even you can just write here the string okay we can just see this one otherwise after we can just put this one also stray as well that's it okay you can even you can just do the color there are many things okay you can do this one also so that what i am speaking you can just you know i think you have to change the color if not look nice so you want to change that color i can make it i think it is black i can make it blue same okay and then after you the uh, even the size option you can just go for the bigger one so it will look nice and yeah even you have many thing you have it something okay so this is what i am speaking okay so now you are able to see okay, exact uh, athletics swimming football 2061 swimming football rowing hockey judo okay so on so yeah this was the really second question i think you know it uh, you know really really perfect about this but the question was sorry for that the first uh, the question was which discipline is the most popular so now you are able to see which discipline is the most popular discipline that there is no problem i think that is really correct and thus there is also the second question i think you can just see uh, which country has the highest participate in it okay. so which country i think you know which country is the highest participate in this country i think okay so is basically need uh, which country has highest to, uh, which is the most uh, sorry for that which discipline the most popular you already done this one and the second thing which is which country has the highest participate in it okay so for that what you are going to use okay uh, for that what you are going to use the basically <coughs> so the for uh, sorry for that <laughs> um yeah so for that in that part which discipline is the most popular discipline indirectly means we are getting the athletics is the most important discipline and that particular which country has how many total number of athletes okay you are going to see this one okay so it is really easy you can, what you can just do you can just create an athletic data data we will just write you will not write just write s there even you can just write it down that's it okay so it will not overwrite the above one and then after you are just you if you want to see the team data because in the team data you will see everything so team data already i think uh, we have just imported in the above so you are just seeing see the name that part discipline belong to and this noc and even you don't you have to care about that okay so from this particular discipline you want only the athletic okay that's it so what you will just write just create a team then after you will just write key team data then after what you are just going to write you are just making a list first of all you have to make a list and then you will match that team data team data with the particular which uh, which column you want to take the discipline column you want to take okay and then from that only you want only athletics that's it okay then just write that's it so this is the basically you are going to use you are just seeing first we will see what we are getting that's it okay if you are whether we are getting correct or not okay wow well, you are getting all the uh, which contain the athlete okay that's what you are just getting here but even though through what you have to do mm -mm. so what you have to do here the second thing what you have to do here the simple what just write the values count of that particular noc that's it 
actually the data already you have just written just just now you have to what you have to write noc and from there just do the values count you will see this one the answer value counts now see now run this one so now you are able to see but uh, the thing is it's coming the same way what we have done above so this this thing i think where it has gone the values count we already seen this one okay so what we are just doing but i think you don't have to write athletics oh sorry for that that's my mistake that's why i'm thinking why it's coming the same yeah now you are able to see this one total uh which particular reason how many total number of uh, you can you are seeing germany america netherlands even you, somewhere in india is too okay so you are able to see how many athletes come from different different region of the country okay this was the second question i think you don't have any confusion in the second question okay this was really really fine now the third question we are going to move on it, it was i think no no problem okay now third question uh, we, because in the second question you have seen the most popular discipline uh, among that is united states netherland uh, germany uh, germany britain britain and italy okay so these five country or six country you are seeing number of highest number of participate in that athletic okay so then after the third question we are going to see that will be really really good question okay so it's here is you have to find which particular which country produces highest number of coaches okay so in this what you have to just write which particular country produce highest number of coaches okay so you already have that particular data set i think the coach data set we already have imported no yeah we already have loaded this data set and you are able to see the first you are seeing the first five rows you are seeing this particular coach data set but there also we have some missing value about the event but you don't care about the event you know you are only finding which one which country produce the highest number of coach that's it because you have in noc you don't have any null value you have only null values in the event i will show you again so don't be confused okay is null dot sum what you're going to use yeah see this one so if in event you are just getting so you don't care about the event you are only seeing noc because with the help of noc you will get uh, which particular uh, that coach belongs to okay which country produce the highest number of coaches okay so yes real really just do the values count for which we will do noc dot value count okay i think J japan won the first prize wow. <laughs> in the number of coaches so japan first uh, america second spain third australia fourth and canada six 16 and somewhere in the last you will see wow angola uh cambodia there are various uh many many country it is there okay so you, total length is 61 because you have total 61 country it has been participated means total number of 61 country coach has been gone in that particular olympic okay so this was the it is really easy when you can just do the, this thing this this is really really easy okay so uh in that's what you're getting that sense japan produced the highest number of coaches okay and then after you follow that followed by the usa okay so now the fourth question we are just going to use uh the fourth question we are going to use so you will find gender you will see how many male or female had been participate in this particular discipline means particular game okay so you are able you have to just i will just write the question first okay. gender right cross this is your the fourth question what you are what you are seeing here okay so uh, just right you already have the gender you already have the gender da uh, data data yeah, already you can just see dot head just mention just run this one 
so you are seeing how many female how many male first of all see if there is a null value or not i think you don't have we don't have any null value but still we can just say sender data dot is null dot some top i don't think you have, yeah you don't have any null values so wow it's a really good so even i can just show you that you, you can we can just visualize this thing in particular graph okay so in particular we will just plot a bar graph for this so you will able to see okay the first of all what just create anything random oh, sorry you have to create first particular uh, dictionary from where it's not dictionary you have to just group by with particular discipline the so first of all i will just show you okay so gender data then after you are just doing group by Uh, with with particular with you are going to group by with only with the respect to discipline so it will everything will re re arrange with respect to discipline okay what you are just going to see i can just show you don't worry this is what i am seeing so uh you can just see the previous this is the previous data set and this is the current data set okay you are going to see everything that will be arranged with respect to this discipline but here it's not the final uh, query but what you have to just write you have to write x also you have to write the y x also y because in the x you have to pass in the whenever you will just plot the bar bar plot in that case you have to pass this one okay so you can just create a we can just use list comprehension because you can inside the list you want list written you have to return the list so you can just write uh, that particular what you want to just return okay you can just write the logic inside that that's it what i'm speaking so here what you am just writing first of all you have to write for i'm just returning discipline Uh, but from where you want to uh, in this particular for discipline you, uh, if you want to iterate through a discipline in the disc so here you want only the discipline column okay so from discipline column you will get that particular okay well, yeah this fine so first of all what you have to just iterate through so discipline comma if you are getting d i am just writing random stuff df in disc okay and just return only i want discipline i'll show you first don't worry okay it was too big so you are uh, now just see x that's it this is what i want okay that's it because you want everything this particular because you whenever why i'm just mentioning this one because whenever you will do the label okay at that case it is it will be used that particular in the basketball how many in total number of male it is and how many total number of female it is okay so you will able to see with the help of x because you are just getting then after okay so then after what the main focus here you have to write the female how many total more female what you will just write gender because you already know gender data dot male or gender data dot female gender data dot male i think it was capital m we can just check yeah, capital m male and similar what you have to write for the female also okay wow <laughs> yes okay. just write e and similar you can just write for the male you will write the gender data and then have to what you will just write male okay then after what you have to just plot this figure and then after you have to write fix size is the really easy you i don't have to explain again and again you can mention any fix fix as as suitable for you okay why i'm writing here only sorry for that i put enter so then after uh, the first one you are to will you have to represent for the x axis okay for x axis what you will just write here and p dot a range and here what it will give you length of x just try this one it will give you all axis length okay then after you have to just write the bar plot this is the official you have to do and here what you will just write the x axis first okay 
the axis is what you are just going to use and then after what you are writing you will uh, inside the one plot you are going to use two bar plot one bar plot will be related to the male okay that what you are just drawing p uh, what you are just plotting plt dot bar that will relate to the female and next again we will write plt dot bar that will be related to the uh, male okay so i think you should know this one and then after what i'm just writing male so even we have to just give the label i'm this particular label i'm going for use female okay yeah and similar here you have to just write if the bar both will be mix up i can just do we have to do the shifting also okay because the both bar will be plot in the same okay i will just show you then after i will just modify that thing okay so even you can just write here also excessive here i'm just going for the mean fail and here you can just put the label as male okay this was the then then after you can just put for x l label you already know this one label you are going to use this particular label i am going for the use of that particular bar okay this bar belongs to the female and this bar belongs to the male but you have to label x and y okay you are plotting in x and y axis then after what you have to just keep And then after plt dot y label inside that number of if you have any doubt you can just ask me on the comments okay i will just get back to you soon okay. and then after this was the number participant and then after even you have to go for the x tick and y tick don't worry for that x ticks because we have to do something again again what that thing you don't have to go for the horizontal you want to shift that particular level in the vertical direction okay and for which particular you want to shift for x axis because this contains everything okay and rotation you want to give for the vertical direction okay then after just write plt dot listen it is basically you have given the level that's why it will just show you and then after plt dot so again i know i have to modify because i want to show you something because if you are plotting two bar plot at the same thing so what is coming you are not seeing you are not getting too much okay that's why because every bar plot has been plotted on the same that's what i am mentioning okay so wow oh i don't know label spelling very bad so that Oh, X S is not defined. Capital X. Again, sorry. So it will not give error. Okay. So the main focus here, what you are getting, you are not getting in male and female because, uh, because you are just plotting the bar plot one above another. Okay. So that's why both the male and female it has been mixed up. And somewhere you are seeing the uh, blue one that highest number of female in that case. Okay. Only the female participate. It can be like swimming. It only has the female. So for that you have to modify here. Okay. So what you have to modify here. You can just give plus 0 0.2. I want to shift particular. Even for the female I think you can just write minus 0 0.2. Okay. And for male you can just write plus 0 0.2. Okay. And just here you just write plus 0 0.2. And how many size you want to give for every bar plot. Okay. You can just mention. 0 0.4 i can just make that thing the constant 0 0.4 now run and see i hope it will run mm -mm. yeah this is your answer now you will see uh this particular uh, this is your really axis don't worry this blue one belongs to the female and the orange one belongs to the male so see in the in that athletics you are seeing orange one the highest because more number of male as compared to the female but somewhere you will see only the female is more number of male i think you are seeing i don't know you can also see uh, yeah this this thing gymnastic you are only the female there is no male participate in that and even in for the swimming also see see swimming also you are only the female no male was participate in this okay so this was the even in handball you are getting equal wow so this how you have to see for different kind of you or you have to see 
gender across the discipline discipline means uh, which particular game uh, how many total number of male and female means how many male has been participated and how many total female has been participated okay so this was the yeah this was the really really easy i don't think so you have any doubt in this okay so last question we are we are going to use not the least but it will be the last question of this particular video so total five question i am going to show already we have done the four question okay and the fifth question that will relate to the medal okay which country has the highest medal we want to see something now so for that we have to write wow come oh man okay so which country receive most gold medal i know everyone know which country receive the most gold medal but still you want to see something in the visualize you want to visualize okay oh, and which we see even we will going for the silver also so that most silver and even most bronze and which received least for it i think india is somewhere in the middle not the most not the least okay for each Okay, so now we are going to see. So you already have the middle data. Okay, so that you can just do head. You will see somewhere uh, you are you are seeing rank first USA. Gold, how many gold medal? How many silver medal? How many bronze medal? Okay, you are seeing everything there. Okay, so but everything you want to visualize something. Okay, so for that what you are just going to use. even you can just pass the simple okay the you can just pass i will just give you the brief you can just plot directly plt dot plot then after you can just mention in the x what you have to mention this particular country and and which country has the highest gold medal what you are saying because you know can see the values count of that gold so even i want to see the information of the this i'm thinking i can go much simpler or even i can try the another method to pray for that info indo not info okay man more so why i'm writing model model why i have habit to write the training model testing model wow. okay medal not model so total you have see uh, total you have 93 total number of entries and then after you are seeing gold silver bronze okay and total even you are just seeing this one <sighs> okay so it will be not uh, it will it is not too much difficult we can just do this thing really really in easy way okay so uh, what you will just write here the first we are going to you go for the gold medal which country has the highest number of gold medal why it is not chilling me sorry <laughs> that okay then after what you are just writing here first of all create a empty list then after we will just iterate through all the for team in metal me sorry m e d a metal what we have just written data no yeah and then after for dot team i think it is their team yeah t I think you can just rename this one team. Mm, no worries, it's up, it's up, it's up to you. Team comma N O C. I think it will read or not. Team slash N O C. Okay. And then what you are just writing, you want only uh, this already. I've just go and then after what you want to append that. Okay. X dot append. I don't have to explain this one. Okay. So you are just appending this one. then after what you are going to use then after even you want y okay for y what you will write here medal data i want only this only we are making for the gold okay that's keep in mind 
data and then after gold then after just writes everything you have to use just write figure plt dot figure then after you have to write fix size and here you can just make an anything not anything you can put anything 20 80 okay then after you can just do the plot, bar plot of every time we are seeing bar plot so okay the bar plot then after what you have to if i'm if i'm just plotting this one what you will get but you want to see something index also no even i can just put x level they are really neat so you can just easily understand not the those who are non-technical you want to source to them this i have just done the data analysis of this particular uh olympic game okay so for them how you will just say you have to give the label for them plt dot y label then after you have to just write gold medal because you are plotting which country has the in access you are plotting the country in the y you are plotting number of gold medal and which country has the highest number of gold medal you are just plotting that one okay gold medals wow. and then after you what you are just writing prd dot x take that is your favorite then after x comma what you want to rotation i want to rotate this thing in the vertical direction okay that's it and what you are just writing you can give the title so yeah this particular graph belongs to the gold medals i can just write mid gold medal across the nation that is okay. yes and then after just write plt dot so So here what you will just get everything even and um, you can just do the same thing if you want to see that particular exact number of text just iterate through plt dot text now that's what I am speaking just write value in enumerate it will just enumerate will give you it will return the index extra it is just written the index and you want to loop through all the particular y because y contains all the gold no? gold medal num values of the gold medal okay just write plt dot text and here what you are just going to write index then after what you are going to write value then after what you are going to write you are going to write a string form that particular value you want to show there and then after when you are going for the color already we have seen by default it's blue you can put blue also i mean by default it's black you can put any color okay I will see hope so it will run wow that's what i am speaking it will give us error because why uh noc it's capital no sorry for my mistake if you can just rename don't want to do just rename this one that's it i'm not renaming you can just do <sighs> gig size it's fix size, not kick size. Okay, so now you are able to see. So you are able to see. Wow, USA is a champion, thirty nine. Then China, thirty eight. Japan, twenty seven. You are seeing this one, twenty seven. Brazil, uh, Britain, twenty two. <laughs> Somewhere, uh, we are see Cuba, various type of Kenya, Spain. Qatar uh, India also have one gold medal yeah no worries yeah hope yeah what I am saying okay so Jablik wow <laughs> our gold medal so we are plotting this thing with the gold medal across all the nation now similar way what you have to write here the similar way you can just plot for the just copy control C and control V now you are just plotting what you have to just you are will plot with the gold. now you are plotting with the silver okay you are just plotting with respect to the silver then after bronze just write in place of gold just write silver that's it you will get the answer everything will be the same i think yeah just plot oh oh you can just uh, you can just do this one no country it's like 
सिल्वर मेडल ओके सिल्वर मेडल अक्रॉस सिल्वर मेडल अक्रॉस द नेशन आई थिंक दैट इट सो हियर यू आर जस्ट सीइंग यूएसए अगेन हियर आल्सो यूएसए इज अ चैंपियन देन सेकंड स्टैंड फॉर द चाइना देन थर्ड जापान द थर्ड इज द आरवश ओके आई थिंक थर्ड इज द रिपब्लिक ऑफ चाइना ओके सो आ यू कैन जस्ट लुक दिस थ्रू ओके आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग रैंडम इवन आई हैव नॉट गोन आई हैव नॉट सीन दैट मच ऑफ ओलंपिक्स रेगुलर ओनली आई एम सीइंग ओनली फॉर डिफरेंट द बेस्ट कंट्री दैट्स इट ओके एवरी कंट्री आई एम आई एम सीइंग बट या यू कैन जस्ट सी आई एम जस्ट मोर एक्साइटेड ओनली ऑफ द गोल्ड ओके बिकॉज देन आफ्टर यू कैन जस्ट सी द सिमिलर वे फॉर द ब्रॉन्ज ऑल्सो just copy paste here and just write in place of gold just write the bronze you can just write here where it's gone bronze i can just do copy paste here no need to make again mistake mm 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 and here you have to write everywhere no gold only bronze g bronze not bronze and here also gold not bronze again you can just see again i think again the usa will be champion every time usa is a champion and followed by every time china but this time i think uh great britain or somewhere any other country has second position in the total number bronze okay so you are seeing this one how oh, many countries is there india has the four bronze medal and in this total number of silver medal in india we are seeing two silver medals yeah no worries and now the last thing we want to see the total so the total you have to do the similar way because it total also you have number of total you can just write if and i can just no worries to copy paste you already have just to copy but you have to write everything in the detail i am just making you to understand how we are just proceeding with every different type of uh things we are just seeing here so even i'm just try one no 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 total country total medal which country has the total highest number of medal total medal okay total medal across i think again us will be the champion okay it's i think it's two Let's now even I can just write here. Uh, yeah, no worries. So you are seeing again, America is the first from one thirteen medals total, and then after followed by China, it has eighty eight medal. Then followed by ROC, Great Britain, Japan, then Italy, Canada, Brazil, New Zealand, there are various type of country, and even we are seeing somewhere. India has total seven medals. Okay, so this was the we have ah uh, this was the five question we already have seen in the details. So if you have any doubt, you can just mention in the comments. Okay, you can ask any doubt. And this particular of the data set, I will just give you the link in the drive. So you can in the description of this video. So you can just directly download from there. Okay, so this was the really. good data set and data set and already i have shown you the total five type of question related to this okay so which country had do the most athletes come from and then the second question was related to which discipline is the most popular and which country has the highest participant in this particular discipline means most popular discipline and the most and that particular which country has the highest okay then after the third question was related to which country produce highest number of coaches okay yeah, i think in this that case hai it was won by the japan then after there was a gender across the discipline and the last was re related to which country received the most gold medal silver medal bronze medal and total number of medal okay so we have already seen we have visualized everything okay so yeah that's it for the 
this video hope so you like this video then please subscribe our channel okay and get updated for the next video we will again we will see something that is related to the ai okay so even for the data scientists okay this was that's it for this video thank you